Hello, it's time for our annual open enrollment process. There's an important change in the enrollment process this year, but more about that in just a minute. First, what's not going to change? Medical, dental, and vision premiums will remain the same for 2012. Be sure to review the open enrollment materials you will be receiving in the mail for information about enhancements to our dental plan. But the bottom line is that your payroll deductions will not change next year. What will change is that enrollment into your medical benefit plan will not be automatic. Instead, you must access Employee Self-Service, or ESS, and follow the open enrollment links which will require you to certify whether you are, number one, tobacco free, two, a current or recent tobacco user, or three, a tobacco user who has engaged in and satisfied the requirements of our Kick Your Butts tobacco cessation program during 2011. If you fall into the first or third category I just mentioned, you will be exempt from the $25 per month surcharge that will go into effect for tobacco users in January 2012. This will be on the honor system, but you will be required to certify the truthfulness of your answer during the open enrollment process. This certification process will become an annual occurrence, which means that anyone who is subject to the surcharge in 2012 will be given opportunities to avoid the surcharge in future years. This is about you and your health, which is very important to us. Please allow me to repeat this important message. If you want medical benefits in 2012, you must access the open enrollment process via ESS, complete the tobacco-related certification, and confirm or change your current benefit elections. As is always the case, you must also enroll in the flexible spending plan via ESS if you wish to be able to seek reimbursement for qualifying medical and or dependent care expenses during 2012. Don't miss out on this tax advantage program. If you have any questions as you go through the enrollment process, please review the instructions that you received in the mail, go to Webster to review those same instructions, or contact Pat Leslie in the HR department at extension 3753. Thank you.